game, bro. Hey guys, it's Chris and Even Game, bro, and today uh, bring you something uh, completely different to what we uh, usually do. Uh, for those who have seen it uh, at PAX, uh, I played this game here, Final War. It is a uh, TCG, and I was super impressed with it. I, um, you know, it was it's an Australian made. It's been years in the making. The guys are really passionate about it. And so here I have the Final War Onslaught Starbucks. Um, so what we're going to do is pretty much go over it, see what's inside, um, and yeah, pretty much uh, show you guys what, what it is that you can purchase should you wish to, uh, should you wish to buy it. So quite a heavy box uh, straight out the bat. It is uh, definitely got a lot of stuff in it, which is good. So we'll slowly go over, you know, what it is. So as you can see, we've got all here. We'll start off with this. So as you can see, these are all of the different tokens that you will be using uh, in the game. Um, so for those that saw the video, you've got your, your, your first strikes, your last strikes, your poisons, uh, your plus two uh, armor, your plus two health, plus two attack, uh, that sort of stuff there. Uh, we then have here the ability guide as well as the rule book. Uh, so the ability guide is just sort of going over what the cards are. Uh, how exactly to use them and the best way to use them and that's that there and then obviously you've got the rule book making sure that you can actually know how to play the game now I played three games there uh, at PAX and I got the hang of it by about the third game so it isn't a terribly hard game to understand uh, but obviously it is quite different to uh, a lot of what you may have played for now obviously I've been in I've played uh, World of Warcraft, TCG, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Dragon Ball Z, the new Final Fantasy. I've played a lot of the card games that are out. Um, but yeah, every, all of them are completely different to this one. And to be honest, I really, I really like the direction that this one's heading. I'll definitely be supporting it um, come its future days. Now, obviously, we have here uh, what is going to be the first board. So there you go. That's uh, that's the board. One of the boards there. As you can see, quite massive. We then have the second board. So obviously, depending on which one you, which deck you want to play with, will determine which board you use. As you can see, deck goes there, graveyard there. So as you can see, it's quite a large, um, quite a large board with your warlord there in the middle. And there's three of them here, all with uh, slightly different designs on them, based off. Uh, each uh, warlord. So speaking of warlords, the base set does come here with uh, Faris, the Forest Lord. Then you've got Sandrak, the Unseen, and uh, Fangrist, the Terrible. Um, now I personally played with Fangrist and really enjoyed him. Probably stick with him for now until I can understand the rules slightly better. And then here is where it gets interesting. So they have got in correspondence to what you're playing with, they have your werewolf based deck for Fangrest. For Shadrach, they have your Guildmaster. And then the elf deck for Faris. It pretty much comes with three ready to play decks, so you can play it uh, sort of as you want. Now, this is designed as a multiplayer game as well. So you can play it either uh, two people or three people using each other's cards and each other's abilities to your advantage and disadvantage, which I think is quite cool. A lot of the TCGs that they have are two player based, so it's pretty good to see something a bit different like this. Now, for those that are familiar with TCGs, this one here I'm referring to is a tactical card game, not the trading card game. Uh, they do have new sets, uh, they, do have a, they do have a boxed set of Onslaught that does include different rarities, so you can trade the cards, but the T uh, in this instance is standing for tactical. So that's it all there. And now we also have here just your dice and your, your, and your tokens that you may be using. And I'm just gonna quickly sort of go over. So here we can see here all of the different cards and how obviously how all they play. Now each, uh, each deck is ready to play as well. Um, so that's, like I said, quite good. And uh, that's everything there. And as I said, there's three of them as well as the Fate deck here. Now, obviously, the Fate Deck is the one that you both play off that allows you to, uh, to obviously sort of determine how the game plays and when the game ends as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Cool. So, guys, after sort of breaking it all down and sort of showing you what's included, uh, this is everything here. 
So as you can see, we've got your free boards, you've got your free decks, you've got your rule book, your ability guide, your tokens, your warlords, and of course your fate deck with your dice and your little tokens and your other tokens, which are your health points there. Now this is uh, retailing at most good game stores as well as directly on their website. I will leave links to it in the description down below. But the last thing I do want to go over just before we finish is for those that were at PAX. Now they, uh, I was lucky enough to play and because of that they did give me this card here. So it's a Horn of Summoning Dragon, PAX exclusive, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, really nice of them, so once again, thank, massive thank you to the guys at um, Final War for allowing me to play, showing me the ropes, of course providing this amazing kit. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun playing with this, but guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.